I've been worrying lately. What's going to happen to our finances when we send the kids to college? And when can we afford to retire? We can set up our long-term financial goals and get tailored information with Microsoft Money's Lifetime Planner. That's great. How does it work? First, we enter information about ourselves, our income, investments, and assets. Then we enter our living expenses, and also any special expenses we expect to have in the future. Oh, things like college tuition, the sailboat, our vacation home. Exactly. Then money shows us whether we'll actually have the cash for these expenses. If our forecast doesn't work at first, money gives us suggestions on how to improve it. Then, when we're done creating our plan, money shows us how to make it a reality. Where did you start? I just started here at the top and worked through each page in order so I could be sure I wouldn't leave anything out. But where did you get all those numbers? Well, money automatically included information from the accounts we've already set up. But there were a few places where I had to get our financial papers. Okay, so what were the results? Our plan doesn't work just yet. See, our forecast goes below zero right here. Well, we can't have that. But we can fix this. First, let's double-click that year to zoom in on the problem. Oh, we're both retired that year. So how are we going to afford tuition, retire early, and buy a vacation home? Let's use Money's personalized suggestions to refine our plan. Let's see. Money says we could save more money or reduce our retirement living expenses, or we could retire later. No, no. Retiring early is really important to me. Isn't there anything else we could do? Well, it also says we could buy a less expensive vacation home than we had planned. Let's try that. So in the Assumptions page, we go to Vacation Home and click Purchase Price. Let's say 150 k That should be good enough. We can also look more closely at other future expenses. As much as I hate the thought, how about if we put off buying our sailboat? Okay. We can just exclude it from our plan for now. So we can include it again later. Right. We're just doing this as a what-if scenario. Let's click Results. Then Comparing Plans. Now we can compare our changes against the original plan and see how much we've improved. Let's check that bottom line again. Looks like we still need to tweak the numbers to get the plan exactly the way we want, but we're getting closer. Remember, Money's suggestions also said we could save more. Okay, let's go back to the Savings and Investments page for that. In Savings Contributions, we can increase how much we're going to set aside for savings. Now how does it work? Perfect. With those adjustments, we can afford to send all the kids to college, retire at 60, and buy our vacation home. Are we done now? Pretty much. Having a plan is great, but not unless we follow it. Now we go to the action plan, where we can set up reminders about our progress. There are also lots of great suggestions, like how much to save each month and what types of investments we can make. And we can always come back and change something in our plan if our situation changes. This way, we can ensure that our financial plan will really work, and we can feel secure knowing that our dreams and plans for the future can really happen.